Hello everybody, this is Mr. Sosa with another Three Lakes Middle School digital art video. Um, today we're going to be talking about focal points and what that means for your art piece. Now a focal point is basically anything that draws your attention instantly or catches your eye instantaneously. So a lot of times focal points deal with minimalism just like we learned about in the last unit. So if we look at this example here you'll notice these fries that are in the shape of the Wi-Fi symbol. Uh, this is our focal point because it's um, the only piece that's yellow other than the logo down here on the bottom right. Um, it's the only piece that has any shape to them. Everything else is just a sea of red, which makes this our focal point. Notice also that the McDonald's logo is small down to the right on the bottom right of your screen because they don't want to take away too much from your focal point and become a distraction. Same thing with this example here. Um, you've got the red Lego that becomes the focal point. Everything else is blue. Even the plane, the, um, the shadow is a dark blue. Um, the Lego logo down in the bottom right is very small, so that does not count as a focal point. The focal point becomes the red bricks, the Legos that are put together to create this illusion of a plane. Here we've got the Hulk's hand um, bandaged up. Notice the background is green as well as the Hulk's hand. Um, the tan band-aid becomes our focal point here because it's really the only um, piece that's in a color other than green so it jumps out at us instantaneously it becomes our focal point and this is a very clever advertisement um, a good way to get band-aid across for young superheroes young kids things like that um, so the band-aid definitely becomes our focal point because it stands out quick and it draws our attention in instantly let's take a look at an old-school advertisement from Apple um, here we have a man silhouetted in black. The background is yellow. The only detail you see of this man is around his um, wrist where it looks like he's wearing a watch. Um, everything is black or yellow except for the iPod and the headphones. Those are white. So that makes the iPod and the headphones our focal points here. Notice that there is detail in the iPod. You see the click wheel the center button and the screen back when they had center or click wheels and things like that. Um, so that definitely becomes your focal point. Dealing with color, when you've got color dealing or dealing with color and focal points, you've got all these green apples but one red apple, okay, which means the red apple becomes our focal point because it stands out, it's different, it's the only piece it's the only apple that's red, so of course it's going to stand out and draw, draw our attention instantly to become our focal point. Same with this red umbrella being held by this girl. Um, the background is very dark and gray and hazy and misty. Even the background trees are green. Even the shirt she's wearing is a dark green, um, which makes the red umbrella, of course, our focal point. Okay. So once again, focal points are anything that draw your attention instantly. They're the point of focus, which is why they're called focal points. Um, speaking of umbrellas, we've got this other example here where you've got a sea of black and white umbrellas and then one green umbrella that makes the green umbrella stand out on its own. Okay. This is another example of how you can use color, or really black and white and color, to create a focal point. Here's an egg just by itself hanging out on a gradiented background. So the gradiented background um, sort of propels the white egg off the screen, which makes the white egg, of course, your focal point. Here's how you can use text as a focal point. Um, you've got all these pink dots roaming around. They're all organized and lined up perfectly, very precisely. But then you've got this black text kind of thrown in here um, randomly, a little off-center. Notice that there's two dots on the left and three dots on the right. So the word hello becomes your focal point. And finally, if we're looking at advertisements, um, 
this is an advertisement from um, some European country. I'm not exactly sure where. But if you look at the background location and all the characters, everything is either in black or white or very dark grays. Okay, even the other people on the treadmills are all water, okay, which is black and white. The only character that's in color is this man running on the treadmill. He's wearing orange, so he becomes your focal point, okay? He becomes what you draw your eye to instantly because he's really the only character in full color. Even his skin tone is full color. His shorts are a little bit dark, but his shirt is bright orange. His shoes are, have a little bit of color to them. So once again, he's the only thing in color which makes him our focal point. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to build your practice exercise so you guys can get that turned in for grades. Okay, But for now, I hope this served you well. Hope you guys are having a great day, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.